hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this perfect turtleneck a flat turtleneck so please follow me on instagram at so with ijoma i'll upload the video on how i made this dress a very detailed video on how, how i made the dress that will be on sunday so we are going to learn how to make this type of turtleneck it's always flat and beautiful so first of all you measure your round neck um if you are cutting the dress the wideness of the neck on full should be 2.5 and the depth should be 2.52 so you measure the round neck after joining then you fold a fabric the way i'm folding it right now you fold it as if you want to cut a peplum so after folding the radius should be 4 inches, like you should mark 4 inches. The, the radius should be 4 inches, like after marking that first circle, it should be 4 inches. 4, inch, four inches should be okay for anybody. 4 inches times 4, that is on fold. It is on fold. I folded it 4 times. So 4 times 4 is about 16, so it's okay. So from that area where you marked 4, you will come down by 2.5 so if you are cutting the turtleneck you should cut it as if you want to cut a fleece so that you can get that perfect circle so after cutting it out this is what i got you can see it is round and uh, the length is 2.5 the length of this piece that i cut out is 2.5 so i'll go ahead and cut out the lining as well so after cutting out the lining i will go ahead and turn the inside the inside is what i will turn first so i'll place them front to front right side to right side then i'll go ahead and turn the inner part so after turning the inner part i'll go ahead and cut off the excess on the lining then after cutting off the excess on the lining you will go ahead and notch the circle very very well i mean the inner part of the circle because that is the area where i just turned so you go ahead and notch it very very well so that when you iron it will relax so mine had an issue because i didn't notch very well so if you are making yours please notch it very well then you fold it out and iron you go ahead and iron you can see how it looks so after ironing this is what i i have so right now i'll go ahead and fix it on my dress you can run a stitch on the outer part first of all if you want so i am trimming off the rough um, edge so after trimming off that edge i will run a stitch on it and then join it to my neckline and after that you have your perfect round neck so you can have excess after this so this is what it looks like after i have joined it so you can see the area where i didn't notch very well it is affected so if you are making yours please make sure you notch very well so if you have excess i'll advise you to fit it on your client first before cutting off the excess so my client came for fitting and i cut off the excess on her own and this is what i have so please do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first to get notified also follow me on instagram as so with ijoma i post short sewing tutorials there i'll upload the video of the dress soon see you in my next video bye